Welcome to Sport Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, live from the MTV Mobile Studios here on the campus of Auburn University, right outside Jordan Hare Stadium. That's double A M P TV. Today's show is brought to you by Legal Shield, providing legal protection and peace of mind. Legal Shield can help with traffic tickets, texting and driving, DUIs, court appearances, estate planning, even contracts given to people they don't understand, plus a whole lot more. For more information, contact Legal Shield at 213 245 1305. That's 213 213- 245-1305. Again, 213-245-1305. Or check them out online for more information at nocourt.us. That's nocourt.us. <laughs> Big welcome in to everybody listening in on our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates. All the way from Boston down to Atlanta, down to, well, South Texas, Vegas, L.A., Honolulu, and a whole bunch of points in between. Magic 97.9 FM over in Las Vegas. Big welcome in WDJY over in Atlanta and everywhere else. Those streaming at thesportcircus.com, also on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. And a big hello to everybody in hotel rooms from coast to coast. Over here with two-time Super Bowl champion and American Ninja Warrior, Tyrone Poole. Big welcome in, Tyrone. How we doing? Yes, sir. How we doing, Sal? Another great day up under the big top. The sports circus bringing a lot of laughter, a lot of fun, a lot of facts. And also we throw a little bit of fiction up in there. But nevertheless, it's another great show. Got another great guest today on the sports circus. Can't wait. All right. All right. I tell you what, in fact, we're going to let him introduce himself. Go ahead. Yes. Shout out to everyone out there on the sports circus. My name is JT Thompson. I am the founder and the chief executive of the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. The Hip Hop Hall of Fame Museum and Hotel is coming to Manhattan in New York City. And it's coming to, and and a lot of our stuff is coming towards you. And you'll hear more about it. Stay tuned. All right. Excellent. Yes. (laughs) Hey, listen, folks, whether it's sports, film, music today, business you never know and jt's over here is going to bring us a little bit of business a little bit of music a little bit of soul going to bring us a little bit of hip-hop all right welcome in all right so jt in in 30 seconds tell everybody about what's going on in manhattan right now well right now it's it's a wonderful time right now we're trying to get past this covid after everything that was going on uh the eating outside we had to push our construction off to 2021, but a shout out to all the first responders, all the essential workers, and everyone at, at the hospitals and the fire department, police department, who've been ex- uh, who provided great services to all of us. Uh, but now it's time to find out how do we rebuild and how do we go forward. That also includes the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Uh, we moved our construction out to 2021, and so now we're getting ready to go into our own IPO to raise money uh, on top of what we already have to actually build the museum and the hotel with a residential, a retail uh, complex, as well as an entertainment complex. We'll eventually, post-COVID, we'll be able to do 100 live events per year. Well, wow, that's very exciting. Hey, you know, Tyrone, some of those events features some of the biggest names in the hip-hop world. Have you had a chance to review some of that? Uh, you know what? I'm already just excited, man. I got to get my ticket. I You got to send me a ticket, JT. You got to get me. I want to get on your private jet, man. Send me up. Send your private <laughs> jet to come pick me up. Man, I got to get there. <laughs> but, man, you I'm got like, it, man. Just, you got it. <laughs> Man, but it's just wonderful, man, just to hear the things that you're doing. And, man, I'm like, all the artists, I'm just amazed at what you're doing, man. Just what you're doing is just mind-boggling, mind-blowing. And Hall of Fame, I don't even know where to start, man. I, I really don't. I'm just grateful to have people like yourself out doing great things to help the culture, to help people be recognized, uh, past and also present because I know that we teach our kids to do more than just become athletes or artists but I always have to tell people this sometimes your gift 
can lead you to a, a way that you could become a lawyer or a politician. But right. the platform right. you're setting up for 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 hip hop and uh, you know anybody that believes that they have a voice to sing and man, I'm just honored just to be on the same call with you and and I'm glad to say I hooked this up. I'm glad that you were available to to come on board and share with those that are watching and listening the great things that you're doing. Hey, you're not too bad yourself, my friend. And it's a salute to you. You're a world champion and you know what it takes to work hard. And that's what we've been doing. We've been and said, I believe that our brand has the ability to galvanize and unify the community across uh, every ethnic group, every income group, because music is the great uh, equalizer, if you know. Yes, yes, music is also math, and that's what we're about. But I think it's important that once we galvanize everyone, we can go from a protest stage to a socioeconomic empowerment stage. And we hope our project becomes a light that we can all get back into the habit of uh, creating economic development in our own communities together. Oh, man, man, that is well spoken. Ooh, that, yes, that, well that spoken. is a mouthful. And I have to tell you, JT, look, that is the correct attitude. That's the correct approach. People need to hear that. Look, a lot of people don't seem to understand. Look, music crosses demographics. It it will reach. Yes. I mean, we know hip hop reaches every step of America. And the funny thing is, what do we have even in the country music world? What do we have? We have people basically rapping to guitar riffs, right? It's the same <laughs> thing. I mean, is that not correct? Uh, I'm not mad at you. And, and and the cool thing is, you got to understand, one thing about hip hop, we didn't necessarily create anything. We just took what was there and innovated it and made it our own. So the scatting that you hear in the rapping, that was goes all the way back to my uncle and then we played with Billy Holiday, Louis Armstrong, Cap Calloway, and, and, and the uh, McLaren brothers and, and all the, the tap dancing and the stuff they used to do. All we did was take what they had and we regurgitated it into our own form because we didn't have much. So you had to plug into a street pole to actually get some uh, electricity to get the DJs going so that the graffiti artists can do what they do on the trains. The B-boys and everybody can dance at the break beats and the MCs and the DJs can get on the mic. Yeah. Hey, you know, JT, that made me think back in the day coming up when we used to go to the house parties, you know, it's like back in the day when they had house parties, you made sure you invited like all of the girls, like guys would go around <laughs> in the high school dog, you know, in the hallways, talking to every girl, come to the party, come to the party. Now you didn't have to tell the guys that, you know, we were going to show up regardless, but the DJs at those house parties, man, I'm like, that was some of the best talent, man. I'm like the mixing and just you know, I'm like cars parked on the grass on the side of the road. I'm like, <laughs> you had to park, you got that late <laughs> man, old school man, and and a lot of great people, artists that we remember of the past. If you'd ask them, like uh, the uh, uh, um, Run DMC, uh, Jam Master J, I'm like, you go back deep, man. Right. I'm like, all of them would say they started the house party, man, you know, just scratching, right. scratching, and. You know, so it's it's amazing to see how the evolution of hip hop music and just music, period. And I agree with you. Music is universal. It's math. Uh, myself playing sports. And we were talking about before we came on track and feel how I believe track and field is universal. So when I say universal, meaning it plays on any level. I came from the D2 Division two school and Division one schools. I feel like track and field just like music is universal like math is universal it could be played on any level man so again shouts out props out to you man Respect. all right folks we're here with Respect. we're here with jt thompson founder of the hip-hop hall of fame hotel museum the roller museum here on amp tv yes. in six hundred fifty thousand rooms from coast to coast across america as well as our cbs nbc and fox sports affiliates I want to know about that mobile museum. I'm excited about that. Tell everybody about that. Well, I tell you, well, one of the things we're doing with some of the proceeds that we have coming in, we're going to launch our own hip hop mobile museum. Uh, it's like a converted tour bus and it has like maybe 100 exhibits and interactions, interactions in it. 
But more importantly, it also opens up on the side so that we're able to host events and uh, be able to get into our educational programming. Because the Hip Hop Hall of Fame, we have programs in over 50 schools in the New York City area with our partner, Thrive Collective. Uh, we've done over 30 murals over the last three years on schools and parks, on the streets even with the Black Lives Matter signs. And it's important that we galvanize the young people to get them to, uh, how do we say this? Not sit back on the video game, but let's get involved in the arts. We also get them involved in uh, uh, education. We call it hip hop ed. So that's STEAM programs, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But we also throw in entrepreneurship and life skills. It's important that the young people have the skills today to be able to be successful and the leaders for tomorrow. Very exciting. The idea here in our last minute, Tyrone, of a mobile museum. We're going to bring the museum right to you. We're going to roll it up right in your parking lot. We're That's going to make right. it accessible for everybody. I have to tell you, that is one of the best things that I have seen in a long time. And an astounding round of applause for you, JT. Yes. This is amazing. Tyrone, listen, comment on that and get us out to break. Well, you know, it's not too much you need to comment on that. Again, it starts with the youth. It's going to end with the elderly. But again, you got to set some type of path, get some type of guideline. And with that mobile hip hop museum, I'm like, you get opportunity to educate and also an opportunity to inspire. So I love it. Uh, just let me know where it's going to show up. And I'm telling you, I'll be there, man, with my pom poms. I'll do whatever I need to do. If I need to hold the sign and tell people restroom this way, I'm like, whatever, man. But <laughs> I appreciate everything you're doing. But you know what? We're going to use our mobile. We out of here for the next segment. Stay tuned. This is an urgent health notice for all residents suffering from back pain. You may qualify for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare. Simply call the Health Alert Hotline now. The Health Alert Hotline. These specialized braces have been thoroughly tested for pain relief. Call us toll-free right now to determine your eligibility. Don't wait. The deadline is fast approaching. The call just takes a few minutes, and we will handle all of the Medicare paperwork. Back braces have helped thousands of people just like you get relief from their back pain and return to living their lives to the fullest, enjoying activities they thought they might never be able to experience again. Find out if you're eligible to receive a pain-relieving back brace. Make sure to have your Medicare card ready when you call. Call us right now. 800-223-7902. 800-223-7902. That's 800-223-7902. Are you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you start up with capital, business strategy, sales, and marketing, and establish your company with a physical location or an online presence on the internet. You decide, you bring the idea, then American Business Trust can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's abtrustco.com. Or call them at 657-600-1876. That's American Business Trust Company. 657-600-1876. Call them today. They'll help your business right away. That's American Business Trust Company. Online at abtrustco.com. American Business Trust Company. The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. You've got to remember to do your testing, and you always need to be sticking your fingers. The new way to live your life with diabetes is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body, and it continuously monitors your glucose levels, helping you spend more time in range and freeing you from painful finger pricks. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call U.S. Medical Supply today for a free benefits check. We offer free shipping, 90-day supplies, and we bill Medicare or your insurance directly. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800-854-3183. 800-854-3183. 800-854-3183. That's 800-854-3183.
Welcome back to the Sports Circus. This is two-time Super Bowl champion and American Ninja Warrior Tyrone Poole. I am working that thing today with Sal, the great ringmaster of the Sports Circus. And we are sponsored by this segment, the Tyrone Poole 38 Foundation. If you want to learn more about the Tyrone Poole 38 Foundation, just go to Tyrone Poole 38 Foundation.org. Again, that is Tyrone Poole 38 Foundation.org. And we want to welcome all those who are listening to us on CBS, NBC, and all of our Fox Sports affiliates, those on hotel television, those from Coast to coast, and can't forget Magic 97.9 in Las Vegas, all the way up to Boston, all the way back down to a Atlanta, the ATL, where I am. So, you know what? I'm going to give it over to Sal because I know he's going to tell you some of the new spots where the sports circus is hitting, listening, and watching. Where, where else are we, Sal? Oh, yeah. We are over here in Auburn, Alabama. We're also covering Columbus, Georgia, a little bit of uh, Montgomery, Alabama, too. Also, and that's right here on WAUD, home of the Atlanta Braves. That would be the League Championship Series Atlanta Braves. Big round of applause for the Bravos. And also, we're down on the Astros Radio Network. CBS Sports KSIX down in South Texas, Corpus Christi, covering the greater Houston market on 95.1961 AM 1230 on the AM dial as well. Big welcome into 107.1 The River over in Natchez, Mississippi, Faraday, Louisiana. And folks, we are everywhere else. We're on television. We add a television station over in the greater Santa Fe, New Mexico market down in Tampa, down in Atlanta, too. We have a TV station. We're actually on down in Tampa. We're on five different TV channels. Another story for another time. <laughs> it's getting, getting kind of crazy. But anyway, big welcome in to everybody on Hotel TV, as well as those streaming on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and also at thesportscircus.com. Back here with JT Thompson, the founder and the top dog at the Hip Hop Hall of Fame up in New York. Welcome in, big boss. Hey, thanks, guys. I tell you, it's amazing just being here with you guys, especially thinking about, you know, me being a Brooklyn born kid. I grew up in Hollis, Queens, as well as in Harlem. And like I said, I watched my uncle uh, when I was a kid. Uh, They played with Duke Ellington and Billie Holiday and the rest. So for us to be able to represent with the Hip Hop Hall of Fame to preserve the past, to acknowledge the present and bridge that gap from the past and the present together that we can build moving forward. That's what it's about. Yeah. And you know what I like? I mean, look, people say, well, hey, this is a sports show. Why are we talking music? I'm going to tell you why. Because number one, we have music in the locker room. We have music in the stadium before the game, TV timeouts, halftime. What do they do? They bring the band out. They'll play right here at the football stadium, right? You have the marching band out. There are roots to music. Listen, Music runs very deep in sports. And so you look at the history of hip hop. I'm going to go all the way back to guys like Curtis Blow. I mean, Curtis Blow, with the, he was the first artist signed to a real contract. When, and mm-hmm. look, Curtis has been influential in so many different lives. And also with what? The hip hop church, too. That's right. And don't forget that jam he made, basketball. You know what basketball, I mean? Basketball, yeah. And one thing about oh, man, you got to understand, hip-hop and the sports go together hand in hand. You really can't have one without the other. If you think back when it was the starter jackets at the time, you know, the hip-hop uh, artists and us in the, in the culture, we wore everything from baseball. You see MC Hammer out on the field for the Oakland A's. When you talk about New York, you see Jay-Z with the Brooklyn Nets hat. When you that's everywhere. So what I'm saying is hip hop and sports go together. We even love g- golf now. After you talk about Tiger Woods and, and tennis with the and Venus Williams, it's incredible. And that's what it's about. Bringing people together with sports and entertainment. Yeah. You know, Tyrone, say- Tyrone, they, one I- second. they even have a, um, a hip hop hall of fans. There was a awards TV show, Tyrone, Think about the people that have been in and out of this. It is, it's crazy. And think your experience, Tyrone, growing up in LaGrange, Georgia, right? In a smaller town. And you say, what was what influenced me? What was the music that influenced me when I was a little kid? I know for me, there I had a whole lot of hip hop on the west side of Chicago. Take that over, Tyrone. Well, again, uh, music is such 
I call it a connoisseur. A connoisseur. It will actually help you, uh, connoisseur, should I say, uh, of the mind. And music, depending on what your flavor is. Some people like R and B. Some people didn't like hip hop. Some people like uh, the uh, just the classical. But music is music. But I was a connoisseur of all music. I, I just love to listen to all of it. But I came up in the hip hop uh, era. And again, like I say, I remember people walking around with big boom boxes, and you know, you put your uh, <laughs> about eight double D batteries. You know, don't sit your boom box on concrete because the concrete gonna drain your battery but you know the guy walking around the big boom box you know had the equalize on the boom box so the run dmc the um uh we got ll, LL cool j, j. You know? ll cool yeah, j with my radio yeah radio and you know the, the fat boys fat 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 boys i'm like man that's all <laughs> that's you know, right you know, that's right <laughs> Tyrone got a lot of old school in it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm like you say, people sample. Even today's music, sometimes they sample from the, the past. But you hear people in cars, you don't hear it so much today. But back in the 80s, 90s, you could hear somebody coming before they got to you because they had all that bass in the car. Well, guess what? Before the bass was in the cars, you had people walking with the boom boxes down the street. So right. you know, they just transferred it from the boom box and walking to boom box in the car. But uh, you know, hip hop music <laughs> and music transition, which made me think again, I came from my HBCU, a black college. And when you go to homecoming or at halftime, that's right. You going to get the bands playing that hip hop music, man. And the greatest thing is to see, not just to hear. Well, I guess you could say hear, but also to see all those instruments out there on that field coming together in harmony, yes. right time, yes. the right touch, and producing the same music that you hear on the radio, man. I'm like, that's why people come back. I don't think it's for the football at uh, HBCUs. I think it's for the bands, man, because I'm hey, like, that's right. Halftime is game time. You know, I produced uh, the Black College Step Show and the National Black College Championship at the that's an incredible experience because what you talk about the bands, halftime is game time. So I just want to let you know. And we can't forget about the Chicago Bears. Didn't they do the yes. Super Bowl shuffle? Yes. Yes. Music, man. All right, back here. Back here with JT Thompson, founder of the Hip Hop Hall of Fame museum and, and wow he, he's just a he's just a top dog with this big welcome back to everybody on our cbs nbc and fox sports affiliates from coast to coast hotel television You're watching right now in your room yes on that favorite channel make sure you don't change that dial all right so gt we talk about the chicago bears we talk about the super bowl shuffle right and we've got the bears shuffling crew i mean look we go back in football. I mean, that was that was kind of a big deal in football. But let's take a step back even further, right? And let's let's go back to the Curtis Blows of the day and and the road that guys like Curtis have paved for everybody else. And then as we get ten years down the road, now you've got this this. Well, we like LL Cool J. We like Cool Mo D. What side were you on? I was on the Cool J side. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, I'm I'm at the Hip Hop Hall of Fame, so I'm neutral. But I will tell you oh. this: you got to go back even further than that. You you have to go back to DJ Cool Herc, Africa Band yeah, Bada, Herc. and Grandmaster Flash. Yes. Those are the yes. three pillars of hip hop. So without yes. those three, the other branches and the trees do not grow and extend. So when you talk about the scratching, when you talk about the party with Cool Herc, you talk about Africa Band Bada, the Universal Zulu Nation, how who preserved and brought together the culture where the phrase was coined. Uh, hip hop by Cowboy and rest in peace, uh, of course, to uh, Lovebug Starsky. I'm saying you got to go back to them. And remember, the first record that crossed over was the Sugar Hill Gang, uh, Rapper's Delight. Oh, so yes, so when you cross over from that, Run DMC changed the game because it was no more just harmony with, uh, you know, the Cold Crush Brothers and the Fantastic Fives back then who did uh, hardcore routines, kind of like the Five Heartbeats. You know, they did the, the harmony rap. But see, then when you to run DMC and then they went to rock this uh, rock this way, it crossed over into rock. So I'm saying we transformed all different genres of music as we went on. So you went to uh, my man, 
Uh, who did you say again? Uh, uh, Kumo cool, uh, cool, uh, cool D and LL Cool J. Or, or Those cool are J. battles, man. You know, but then you got to think. Then the music went to the West. You know, then you yep. got to think about the world class wrestling crew, uh, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and everybody that came out. And you know, you can't sleep yeah. on the South. I mean, you got uh, the bass sound with two live crew, and then Atlanta. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, Luke Skywalker. Southern Cadillac playlistic music with Outkast. Woo, what a history. And in Chicago <laughs> with Common. I mean, it's incredible. Tell you what, we're, yeah. you're going to stick with us for another segment. We got way too much to cover here. Tyrone. This is great stuff. And look, for all you people looking for sports, guess what? All of this influences you, too. So just don't think that you're isolated. No, sports is molded quite a bit by music as well. Tyrone, get us out of here. Well, you know what? Have you ever went over to a friend's house to eat and the food ain't just no good? I mean, the wood. Oh, come on, don't get me going with the rap of delight. But you know what? We're going to be back with more sports circus. We got JT Thompson. You got myself. You got sound. We got music. We got up on the big top. Don't go nowhere. We'll be back with more Sports Circus. You don't want to miss what we got coming up. Attention business owners, you and your customers are listening to this commercial right now. Face it, every business needs customers, even yours. The Sports Circus is a primetime nationally syndicated program that's carried on ABC, NBC, CNBC, and Westwood One News affiliates, plus CBS, Fox, and NBC sports affiliates across North America with coverage from Hawaii to New York. Also, the Sports Circus is available to the 180 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, and the Sports Circus gets about 4 million website visitors per month, which could click through your website and bring sales. The Sports Sports Circus provides great content featuring celebrity guests from sports and entertainment to our audience every weekday, which your company could greatly benefit from by increasing your visibility, foot traffic, eyeballs to your website, and calls from potential customers. Call us right now at 702-799-9935. Again, 702-799-9935. Or email us at info at thesportscircus.com. That's info at thesportscircus.com. Drive your sales today by advertising with the Sports Circus. So, you want to be in show business. Do people tell you that you're really funny, you have a great personality, and you should have your own talk show? Many of us have been told that, but we don't know how to get started. It's easier than you think. Let the pros at Cali Vegas give you a free talent evaluation. Call 949-445-1119 and learn how quickly you can create, produce, and host your very own talk show. Imagine not having to sit in traffic every day, commuting back and forth to the same old boring job. Get started in television or radio today with your free talent evaluation from Cali Vegas. Call 949-445-1119 or visit them online at calivegas.com. Make your dream come true today and create your new career and learn how to become a television or radio star with the help of Cali Vegas. 949-445-1119. Call now. This is a time-sensitive message from the Back Pain Relief Hotline. Millions of people across the nation are suffering from back pain. Are you? Are you on Medicare? Is it hard to walk, to bend over, or even do simple things? Well, we have great news. If you're on Medicare, you could qualify to receive a pain-relieving back brace. We'll handle all the Medicare paperwork if you qualify and ship your new back brace right to your door. Make sure you have your Medicare card ready and please call. Call us right now and get all the details. It only takes a few minutes. Imagine doing everything you used to do before your back pain. With your Medicare card ready, call the Back Pain Relief Hotline today. Call now. 800-223-7902. 800-223-7902. That's 800-223-7902. Paid for by the Health Alert Hotline.
Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, live from the MTV Mobile Studios here on the campus of Auburn University, right in front of Jordan Hare Stadium. Auburn University, War Eagle. I'm look. I'm looking above. I don't see that eagle yet. I guess it's going to be. It'll be here real soon. <laughs> don't go anywhere, folks. Lots more to come in Auburn football. Yes. All right. This segment brought to you by Kelly Vegas, helping people create and host their very own radio, TV, or multimedia talk show. Kelly Vegas can help with everything they need to get out of sitting in hours of traffic or sitting around trying to figure out how they're going to reinvent themselves and have their very own talk show in their very own home studio. For more information, contact Kelly Vegas at 949 949- 445-1119. That's 949-445-1119. Again, 949-445-1119. Or check them out online for more information at kellyvegas.com. That's C-A-L-I Vegas.com. And a big welcome back to everybody listening in on Magic 97.9 FM over in Las Vegas. W-A-U-D right here in Auburn, 1230 AM, home of the Atlanta Braves. And, of course, a big welcome to everybody on CBS Sports KSIX, home of the Houston Astros, down in South Texas, over in Atlanta, WDJY 99.1 FM, WBNW up in Boston. Big hello to everybody there, as well as KCAA, our NBC News, CNBC Financial, and Associated Press affiliate in Los Angeles. And, of course, a big hello to our friends on CBS Sports KHKA over in Honolulu and everywhere else. Oh, by the way, Mid-South Broadcasting over in Louisiana. And Mississippi, we're going to take our time saying that because we want to make sure we get that out. I like that. And we got a a big hello to who we're talking about. That would be Jim Bob. Jim Bob from Redneck Adventures. Folks, if you want to see something fun, just check out redneckadventures.com. Boy, that is some fun stuff. And I'll tell you what, we're going to have our own snake grabbing rodeo one of these times. And that's going to be brought to you by, of course, Redneck Adventures and Mid South Broadcasting. All right, and also welcome to everybody watching us in hotel television from coast to coast, as well as those streaming on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Back here with two-time Super Bowl champion and American Ninja Warrior Tyrone Poole. Tyrone's ready to reach his hand hip-hop. into the tree. Give it to the hip hop. Don't stop the rocket to the bang bang boogie up. Jump the boogie to the rhythm to the boogie to beat. I got my man Sal and JT kicking it with me. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 I got me over here. Oh, but, but hey, I got to ask JT the question, Sal, if I can. Now, I know we were talking off off record while we was on commercial. Uh, one of the songs that I think that has transitioned throughout the years, and you can actually play it right now. And for those who are listening and watching, ask yourself what hip hop song has transitioned from your early years to where you are now. For me, it was Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh crew with six with six minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on, uh, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on. I'm like that song that just transitioned. Is there a song that, like you would say, a classic that man you heard back in the day and it is still? Get the people going to this day. I tell you, if, if you're looking at me, I can tell you right now, there's quite a few classic songs. I look at Rob Bass's song. It takes two to make a thing all right. I mean, yeah. now you're seeing J.J. Watt in the commercial and other folks doing it. Classic song that just uh, stays throughout the time. Planet Rock with uh, Africa oh. Bambada and the Soul Sonic Force. Oh, Planet yeah. Rock still knocks then and it knocks today. And it's got 27 spinoffs of people who duplicated and sampled the record, you know? But then I'm gonna go back one more with you. How about when your parents played that song that Mary J. Blige re, uh, re, uh, remade with Method Man? You're all that I need to uh, be yeah. Now, the oh, old yeah. school version was the yeah, Paris yeah. ones, right? But that one right there was the hip-hop one. That's the unity that hip-hop brings to the community as we bridge the gap between old and young. We captured it. And people got to understand, your audience got to understand, if you go in any one of your locker rooms, any one of your favorite sports team, I guarantee you, they got headphones in their ears or the box is blasting inside the locker room because music gets them ready for the big game. It helps set their mind right, their focus right. And the same for you. It gives you a mood of, through all the pandemic and all the challenges and this challenging time right now, music has been that thing to bring calm to us and we thank you for that oh man that's, that's a good Go ahead, story. Tyrone. Now, I know, yeah well I'll say this Sal. now I know like you said Sal earlier this is a sports show so 
I want to tie it into sports as well. Now, when we look at all the offenses, talking about football, all the offenses that we see, this the wildcat, or maybe you see the op, the uh, uh, read option type of offense. All these offenses that you see, they stem, just like JT said, either from artists, when they talk about music, three artists are cer certain types of music, but the offenses that we see, they come from three variations of offenses. The West Coast come from the run and shoot or the, the Air Coriel. That's just my belief. So right. if you look at any offense that you see, you're going to see parts of those offenses being run today. So it's the same thing with music. When you see and hear people doing music, it stems from something in the past that they reduplicated and made it a little bit better but the, the principles come from the past man that's why they say old school there's nothing like old school nothing that's right that's right and i can tell you right so, now Sarah, that's what it's about yep oh, tyrone so Sarah, i want you I to expand on that with. tyrone i want you to expand on that for a minute i'm I'm going to pull something up because you guys were talking about favorite, favorite things. I'm going to give you mine in just a minute. I want you to take over for just a moment. Right now, you know, again, uh, coming up, like let's talk about JT mentioned in the locker room. Okay, let, 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 let's pick it back off of that. I'm going to pick it back off of that. Now, with me, I always wanted that song that actually just, just got the adrenaline going. And like you said, the uh, Planet Rock, I'm like, you know, that was a song. It's like it's just the the the, the movement, the consistency of the, the 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 rhythm. And you as a player, you want to get into that rhythm, get into that rhythm, get That's into right. that rhythm. Right. And, and even now, even now, when I go to the internet and I'm here at my house, let's forget about the football game for a minute. When I'm here at my house, I'm just searching over the internet. I will close one window and open one window and that'll be my music and i'll go and i'll just google like uh some type of old song like i said uh dougie fresh and the get fresh crew or raw bass and then it would bring up all the other songs that are in that category man and i just go and i just click 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 or i just let it play <laughs> but it it brings me back to that mindset of when I was young. And that's the great thing about music, about not only right. if it's visual, when you see a video, like I can see a music video and I'm like, it'll take me back to when I was young and, or I'll be listening to something on the internet and I hear that beat and it'll take me back to maybe a moment, something in my life, whether I fell off my bike or whether that girl broke my heart for the first time or whether I learned how to drive or, or whatever the case must may, may be. But man, I'm like, when I hear music, it's like, it just grabs your heart. It grabs your attention and you know, you just relive. So are there any, what do you, what's your playlist like JT? What is your playlist? If you were an athlete right now, what would your playlist consist of? If you had to go old school, wow. mix it, I mean, what would it be? Uh, I can tell you right now, I'd be playing some of the new kids. I know some people, uh, the old, a lot of old school artists uh, don't like the way some of the young rappers rap today. And I'm going to tell you, when we was younger, some of the older cats then didn't like the way we were rapping then. So it's always that type of dichotomy. But for me, I love the stuff that Drake is doing. I love the stuff, everything from Lil Wayne and some of the new kids out right now, the baby and some of them. But you know, it's 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 different. It's a different, and it's a, they call it trap music and other types of music. But for me, you could put on some old school Snoop Dogg, E40, Too Short, Master P. You know what I mean? I can go with some EPMD. You know, definitely, I can always do that. I can do some Tribe Called Quest. I mean, I'm a, I'm a sampler, as you can tell, because I, I'm a connoisseur of all the music, not just one particular version of it. I mean, I'm a Guru fan, Guru and DJ Premier. You know, that jazz mix with the hip hop gave it a different blend, you know what I mean? And I think that's what's yeah. so uh, lovely about music is that you brought up the life experiences, but music brings us joy. You know, when you praise God, you know, music, you know, helps you get into that spiritual center that you need to be in so that you can pray or so that you can uh, achieve anything that you wanna achieve to get your focus right. That's what music does for us. All right. Hey, listen, J JT, we're running up on the end of the segment here. You know, I wanted to throw one out real quick, and that was something from the hip house world. 
a little bit of jam silk with music is the key. Now I know you know that, and you know I know you know the piece where it says music is the key to set yourself free from violence, drugs, and increase your poverty. You know that one, right? I love that. <laughs> That's the one that just burnt in my head. I mean, we're talking 1988, 1986, whatever. Listen, that's the one I was trying to find. I couldn't find it to play it for everybody, but folks, check it out. JM Silk. Good stuff. Real good stuff. All right, listen, we're running out of time, so why don't you tell everybody how to follow you, how to get a hold of you, and so forth. Well, uh, just before I do that, I just want to let everybody know I'm breaking out some news right now. The Hip Hop Hall of Fame is going to open up the Hip Hop Hall of Fame Cafe, Lounge, and Gallery in Harlem in 2021. So I want to let everybody know I broke that right now on Sports Circus so that you would know you can come get your music filled, you can come get your sports bar filled, you can come get a little bit of everything at the Hip Hop Hall of Fame Cafe. Donate to the nonprofit and the educational program at hiphophalloffame.org or hiphophof.org. And if you want to become a founding member or donor uh, or a VIP member, it's forty dollars a year, and you get ten percent discounts on everything when everything reopens back up. And it's just important to let you know the Hip Hop Hall of Fame Awards TV show is also coming back in 2021. So we're expecting a banner year next year, and we break ground next year on the Hip Hop Hall of Fame Museum and Hotel and Residential Retail. Complex. All right, JT Thompson, we're going to bring you back. Top dog over at the Hip Hop Hall of Fame founder. Love to tell you something, folks. You're not going to want to miss this one. All right, folks, back here in a few minutes with two times Super Bowl champion Tyrone Poole and myself in just a few. Don't go anywhere. Jeez. Are you a small business owner or pursuing the dream of starting your own company? Do you know where to start or how to grow that existing business? The American Business Trust Company has the answers you need. The American Business Trust Company can help you start up with capital, business strategy, sales, and marketing, and establish your company with a physical location or an online presence on the internet. You decide, you bring the idea, then American Business Trust can help with the rest. For a free evaluation, visit them online at abtrustco.com. That's abtrustco.com. Or call them at 657-600-1876. That's American Business Trust Company. 657-600-1876. Call them today. They'll help your business right away. That's American Business Trust Company. Online at abtrustco.com. American Business Trust Company. This is an urgent health notice for all residents suffering from back pain. You may qualify for a pain-relieving back brace covered by Medicare. Simply call the Health Alert Hotline now. The Health Alert Hotline is your back brace company. These specialized braces have been thoroughly tested for pain relief. Call us toll-free right now to determine your eligibility. Don't wait. The deadline is fast approaching. The call just takes a few minutes, and we will handle all of the Medicare paperwork. Back braces have helped thousands of people just like you get relief from their back pain and return to living their lives to the fullest, enjoying activities they thought they might never be able to experience again. Find out if you're eligible to receive a pain-relieving back brace. Make sure to have your Medicare card ready when you call. Call us right now. 800-223-7902. 800-223-7902. 800-223-7902. That's 800-223-7902. Attention business owners, you and your customers are listening to this commercial right now. Face it, every business needs customers, even yours. The Sports Circus is a primetime nationally syndicated program that's carried on ABC, NBC, CNBC, and Westwood One News affiliates, plus CBS, Fox, and NBC sports affiliates across North America with coverage from Hawaii to New York. Also, the Sports Circus is available to the 180 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, and the Sports Circus gets about 4 million website visitors per month, which could click through your website and bring sales. The Sports Circus provides great content featuring celebrity guests from sports and entertainment to our audience every weekday, which your company could greatly benefit from by increasing your visibility, foot traffic, eyeballs to your website, and calls from potential customers. Call us right now at 702-799-9935. Again, 702-799-9935. Or email us at info at thesportscircus.com. That's info at thesportscircus.com. Drive your sales today by advertising with the Sports Circus.
Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, live from the MTV Mobile Studios on the campus of Auburn University, right in front of Jordan Hare Stadium. That's double AMP TV. Folks, make sure to check out the sportscircus.com for our upcoming guests, our prior guests, our podcasts, and also check out our partners. In fact, one of those partners is the College of Southern Nevada Athletics. That's CSNCoyotes.com. Check them out for upcoming events, upcoming games. In my opinion, probably one of the best two-year schools in America. And guess what, folks? If you're going to school or if you're thinking about going to school anywhere else in the country and you want to head down to Southern Nevada, check out the College of Southern Nevada, especially if you're a baseball player or a volleyball player, softball or, or soccer. Guess what? The College of Southern Nevada Athletics, very good stuff. CSNCounties.com. Check them out, folks. An enormous round of applause for them. Wow. That's a very large round of applause. And a big welcome back to everybody listening in on our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates from coast to coast. And, of course, right here in Alabama, right here in Auburn on WAUD, that would be 1230, home of the Atlanta Braves. Welcome in and everybody else from coast to coast back here with two-time Super Bowl champion and American Ninja Warrior Tyrone Poole. Tyrone, we just had a real nice few segments with J.D. Thompson, founder of the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Boy, that was good stuff. Man, it was great stuff, man. And like JT said, music, music, music make you lose control. Isn't that what Missy Elliott say? Music make you lose control. So uh, music is a great bridge. Uh, music is a great motivator. Uh, music yep. is just universal, man. It brings people together. And even if you don't know how to dance, and I've seen a lot of people who don't know how to dance, get out there and just music, just make your feet start tapping. It starts with the tapping of that toe first. Then next thing you know, right. you start hitting yourself on the top of your thigh. Next thing you know, you're out your chair dancing. So, you know, but yeah, it was great fun with JT Thompson, man. Good luck on that hip hop hall of fame and you know, all the museum and work to, the works that they are doing. That's awesome. Now I know I know in the locker room you had your music that would get you going, right? And I, I think you had Phil Collins as one of your like uh I could feel it in the night song, right? The do 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 do, you know, right? That part. You love that. You had said you loved that before, but for me, when I was, you know, sixteen, fifteen, whatever, you know, I, I was living in a hip hop world too, in the West Side of Chicago, and so for me, the thing that I was looking for last segment and I couldn't find it was this. Listen to this. Music is the key to set yourself free from violence, drugs, and increasing poverty. The key is to a lock. The lock is on the door. The door has a knob that you never turn before. A jackmaster jock can open up the lock because he has the key to unlock your body. Takes the lock off and opens up the door. The door to house. House people galore. The beat won't stop with the JM jock because he jacks the box and the party rocks. The clock tick tocks and the place gets hot. And believe it or not, all your troubles you forgot. It's just that easy if you want it to be for all the fellas and the young ladies. So ease your mind and set yourself free to the... Anyway, that was it. <laughs> Mr. Fine D. That we call it a key. <laughs> yeah. Man, I love that. I I cannot tell you how many times I played that over and over and over and over. It's just one of those things. It gets burnt into your head, but it's so meaningful. If you listen to it over and you break that down, that's the same thing that happens in a classroom. It happens on the field, on the ice, on the court. It's so meaningful and so packed with good stuff that it relates to everybody. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what language you speak. Guess what? That relates to absolutely everybody. And that's why I was really thrilled to bring JT on the show because music, it is the key. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. You're right, Sal. And uh, I just, again, when I play, you mentioned earlier, Phil Collins, and that's the stadium music. That just the highs and the lows and the anticipation it's just music really knows how to touch the soul to get the bones the muscles pulling on the bones and next thing you know you're moving around and you're dancing you're singing even when you can't sing you don't know how to sing it just music is <laughs> great and like you said even with the song you just played like you said it's burned into your mind and and yeah. and whatever that music transcends and makes you feel 
whether it's happy or make you go back to when you were a child or make you remember when your first car, where you were when you first did this or that. That's what music does, man. And, and music is memories, is history. And, and like I said, people today, uh, we were talking, with Jay, talking to JT, the, the artists of today, most of them sample something from the past, but you know, hip hop, the old school, new school, I'm like, it's nothing like music, man. I'm like, it, it's not. And I know you had a car, right? Do you have a car? You say it had all the bass in it and people can oh, hear yeah. you five blocks away, so to speak. But well, tell us about you that. Can feel the bass. I got pulled over by the cops because he could feel the bass two blocks away. Actually, that's crazy. <laughs> Feeling the bass. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and I, he goes, you know why I pulled you over? I'm like, no, I wasn't speeding. He goes, because I could feel your bass two blocks away. And that was the most impressive thing that anybody ever said about that 1700 watts that I had in my old Hyundai Excel. And I won that car over in Las Vegas in a drawing. They were giving away 100 cars in 100 days at the old Aladdin Hotel. And I flew out to Vegas on Eastern Airlines way back in the day. And I drove home in my uh, brand new car. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what's shocking? Shocking about with that statement you just made with the officer? With all that bass, Sal, I'm surprised you even could hear and understand what he was saying. You must have. Did you have your head stuck out the window because the bass was so loud? Oh, that, no, man. I had to turn that thing down. Magic. Yeah, I'm like, when he came no. up, when that officer came up and stopped you and asked you, do you know why? You must have been guessing. <laughs> what he said, because I'm like, there's no way in the world you could have understood after all that bass coming through your eardrums that you had clarity. Or maybe you told him, hold on for a second. Give me about two minutes. Okay, now I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no man, I had I had to I had to cut that off right away. But the bass was so low, it would vibrate your heart. It would shake your head. The ohms oh. were so low, it was it was the number one car in the small car division in Southern California for stereos. And I'm talking about for clarity, for the velocity in which it projected out, but also the distance. Man, it was something. I had, of course, the Alpha Sonic and Delta Sonic amps with the monster cable through the car. Oh, man, it, it had everything. I had four 15s in the back seat, the competition kickers. Oh, yeah. Wow. I ripped out the back seat. I had two two big 15-inch pizzas on top and then two facing the seats right in front, right facing the front seats. Also had four mids and four highs. Those are the pile uh, mids and highs, so Pyle always had good stuff with the Alpine deck. Oh man, it was everything in there. It was incredible. Wow. Wait, wait, what was the brands of of of, of music? Not brand, but the brand of uh, the brands, the name brand like the Equalizer. What uh, company? Like most people Alpine. use uh, um, Alpine. There you go, Alpine. Did, now let me ask you about your Equalizer. Did you tell people, you know what? If somebody wanted to borrow your car, you tell them, say, hey. Don't touch my levels. I got them right where I want them set. Don't mess with them. Uh, did you even give your car to somebody to let them drive? No, no. Don't even think about okay. it. You could have the other car, but you ain't coming near this. And here's the tragedy, the whole thing. I, I drove that car for a year and a half. I really messed up my ears, right? And so when I sold the car, I sold to a, a couple of young ladies. I got a phone call from the grandmother that came over to get that car. They wrecked the car the next day. They smashed oh, the car up the next day. That was my baby. I was in tears. I had a mega, mega system that just was felt so far. But I'll tell you what. That was an enormous winner with the ladies. <laughs> 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 but it, no, it, was, it was crushing to hear that the car was totaled. Oh now, man. Now when you speak of cars, now even now, even today, I don't know if a lot of people recognize this, but even today, the car dealerships, they have come to their senses and they saw how people like yourself or people like myself, we were going to uh aftermarket people to increase the music, right. the bass, or just the yeah. outside look of the car and now you got car dealerships now when you go buy a car it comes with a great system it comes with right. this they'll and that maybe not system in there now yeah they'll, they'll exactly. put that Bose system in 
Exactly. So you don't have to go down the street to you know this audio store or that one. But see, the thing is, those audio stores, they will put the monster cable through your car. I had an extra battery to run that stereo in my trunk, a big RV battery. Folks, you can't see this, but it was literally one and a half times the size of a regular car battery. That's how much juice it drew. It was unbelievable. Wow. Now, 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 did your headlights flicker? Did your headlights flicker when that, that bass hit? Or did your battery kind of like... The battery, the extra battery was where it was pulling from. So it really didn't pull from your car battery. So everything stayed bright on your car. Yeah. Yeah. It was incredible. And it was the slowest car on earth, but I got a free car. I got a free car from Vegas, right? So why not do everything I can? I poured all kinds of stuff into it. I had sponsors for it, whatever. Uh, I have to tell you, it was fun. It was really cool. I mean, I had a hard time climbing mountains, but guess what? You know, when you're rolling and you got big bass, you don't really care about speed because you want to make sure that everybody gets to feel the music, right? So you're rolling in. You are the jukebox for the entire community. Now, what's that favorite song? I know you had a favorite song that you always, everybody who has a car that has bass in it, they always had this one song that they would play oh, whenever man. they were rolling up on the scene or oh, man. you had to show off. What was your one song that you played that you knew made your system sound phenomenal? It was with Luke Skywalker. Oh, yeah. You know, and that was from the boys down in Miami with the big Miami booty bass, right? Yep. You got to have yep. that. If you didn't have if you didn't have Luke Skywalker coming out your system, you didn't have the right system in the first place. So it was anything off of that well, it wasn't really a G-rated cassette tape back or a CD back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it was something off of there, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And I tell you, like with me, the song that I would play again, it's an old song. But man, when you talk about bass, it really showed if you had the right system. But bass mechanic. I don't know if you remember that song, Bass Mechanic. Oh, yeah. All those who are watching us and listening to us, Bass Mechanic. So I'm like, if you had a system and you really wanted to impress somebody, you play Bass Mechanic. I'm like, it, boom, boom. Boom, boom, bass mechanic. Dun, dun, dun. Bass <laughs> hey, mechanic. you know what else was good? You know what else was yeah. good? And JT talked about it. It was Rob Bass. It was It Takes yes. Two. Man, that just rumbled the house. It was crazy. Nah, oh, man. Hey, making it, making it. They they say make it rain with the money when they go in clubs or whatever. You know it's what? Thunder. Make it thunder. There you go. <laughs> Make it thunder. Oh, man. That's oh, that's crazy. Hey, you know, Tyrone, listen, man, we're, we're out of time. We're out of time. Go ahead. Get us out of here, man. Well, you know what? You The next thing you're going to hear is the Sports Circus, our bass song. And hopefully, so now I'm going to turn the bass up, and you're going to hear the Sports Circus carry us turn out on another exciting show. We'll see you next time on the sports circus. Music. Music makes you lose control. So, you want to be in show business. Do people tell you that you're really funny, you have a great personality, and you should have your own talk show? Many of us have been told that, but we don't know how to get started. It's easier than you think. Let the pros at Cali Vegas give you a free talent evaluation. Call 949 445 1119 and learn how quickly you can create, produce, and host your very own talk show. Imagine not having to sit in traffic every day, commuting back and forth to the same old boring job. Get started in television or radio today with your free talent evaluation from Cali Vegas. Call 949-445-1119 or visit them online at calivegas.com. Make your dream come true today and create your new career and learn how to become a television or radio star with the help of Cali Vegas. 949-445-1119. Call now.